I'm recording this, it's uh, Worker's Day, and I've had some time to think about the Rachel Dolezal issues or concerns. Uh, this is really a response to some very vocal um, individuals out there, in particular uh, two friends of mine, uh, associates, um, Roger Young and uh, Carl Collison. Um, Carl, I haven't uh, managed to read your whole piece because it's behind a, a paywall, uh, but I, I get the gist of what it is that you're saying from uh, some of the paraphrasing um, and the manner in which uh, the piece is titled. Um, and Roger, your online invective um, involving yourself and various other parties, um, pretty much a, a a lynch mob, um, a witch hunt, an investigation, an inquisition of race identity. So yeah, um, Carl, Roger, what do I think um, sitting here today, Monday? You know, um, you might be onto something. Um, Non-racialists um, have been passing themselves off as non-racialists for quite some time. Yes, they do need to be exposed. Um, you know, uh, this political movement called the ANC, which for many decades passed itself off as a, a non-racial movement, and as it transpired, um, they were actually um, underneath uh, merely racialists, um, merely regurgitating the same tired, pathetic racial schemes that formed the apartheid state, in particular the multiracialist um, position of the late P.W. Burton. You might remember him. Uh, I'm sure you in good company, the both of you, because P.W. Burton was a, a white supremacist who believed, as H.A. Fuvut did, that um, good fences made good neighbours, and that apartheid was simply good neighbourliness, and that uh, there was uh, nothing wrong with creating a distinction um, based upon um, skin pigmentation and various other um, surface features um, that divided the population uh, along a, what was known, and still is, um, scientific racism. So, yeah, guys, you might just be onto something. Um, Non-racialists... Uh, pretending, people pretending to be non-racialists, who, it turns out, uh, were not sincere about their um, ideology, it was merely a cover up of um, innate racist um, behavior where people consider um, life through the lens of, of race uh, categories. I, I want to play you a piece um, just to give you an indication of the terrain in which we are, because I, I interviewed um, a molecular biologist last week, so if you're watching this, um, somewhere here, I'm going to um, show you a, a clip a little bit later, um, and yes, the uh, two articles as well, I guess I should point to them. Carl Collison's article featured quite prominently in the Mail and Guardian. It turned out the Mail and Guardian um, has no connection to Weekly Mail. The Weekly Mail, uh, an all-white uh, publication pitted against um, a racist government, um, yeah, pretending to be against the regime, right? We were all just pretending to um, espouse a, a doctrine of non-racialism. So you've made me think uh, about this concept, and I've realized that um, Perhaps it's time to move on from race blindness, essentially. The absence of race-based thinking, as, as, as the late Dr. Neville Alexander would have it, uh, to something a little bit stronger, um, something more, more current. Um, I, I think I need to reinvent myself as an anti-racialist. Not, so, not as an anti-racist per se, but an anti-racialist. A person who, who is um, the antithesis of race categories. And you, you're welcome to, to repeat my, 
my uh, response to similar arguments um, in, in court, where it turned out that non-racialism as such was no defense against uh, racist attacks and race inquiries on the basis of uh, the pseudoscience that we knew, know underpinned apartheid. So yeah, was Steve Biko uh, a man of, of no, no consideration, a man who was insincere in his ideology when he said uh, uh, blackness is not the result of skin pigmentation, it's the reflection of a mental attitude. Roger, was he, was he being insincere? Was, was Martin Luther King um, pretending to be a civil rights leader when he said, I had a dream? It turned out, in your, in your view, hey, um, he didn't have a dream, he had some kind of a nightmare and it involved uh, race categorization and the imposition of seg segregation. Was, was, that, was that the history that you, you and Gillian Shooter, um, another person who seems to be quite prominently featured um, until quite recently as a, as a critic, critique of uh, the non-racial perspective. So yeah, uh, I, can get, I can get with this, this whole new, new genre that you've, a um, whole new dimension that you've created. Non, Non-racialists, it turned out, were uh, pretending to be non-racialists. And here I am, so anti-racist, right? Was Robert Sabukwe also pretending um, when he said uh, um, multiracialism is racism multiplied? Was he pretending? Was, was he passing himself off as someone who, that he wasn't when he said uh, there is only one race, the human race? So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, great that.